I've been teaching immunology for a few years now. And every year on my first lecture, I tell the students, if there is anything I want you to take out of my course, it's the five properties of the immune system. If you'll learn these five properties, you will learn to think like an immunologist. First property is called universality. Basically, it means your immune system can attack any bug out there. Whatever gets inside our body, our immune system can attack it. Also, it means I can make vaccines to anything out there, give you the vaccine, and your immune system is now primed to it. The second property is called specificity. Your immune system, when it makes an attack strategy, or we say when, the, when you, your immune system makes an immune response, that response is specific for the bug it is attacking at that time. And that's why every year you go line up for a new flu shot because the response your immune system made to the previous flu shot is specific for it. So the next flu season, when you get a new flu virus, you need another flu shot. So your immune system can make another response specific for that new strain of virus. The third property is memory. Your immune system has this amazing ability to remember the bugs it attacked before, okay? So the next time a bug comes in, your immune system is prepared. The response it makes to the bug the second time is stronger and faster. And that's the whole point why we vaccinate. So the second time you see the, the virus or the bug and that second time will be the real deal, so let's say you go, you get your COVID shot. You don't get the actual virus, but you get parts of it. But if you happen to get the real virus, your immune system is, doesn't have to start from scratch. Your immune system already saw part of the virus and now it will respond faster. And this is basically memory. The fourth property is self non self discrimination. I already told you the first property is universality. So my immune system is universal, which means it can attack so many things out there, almost anything out there, my immune system can attack it. Not only attack it, the response it makes will be specific and my immune system will remember attacking it. But there's a problem with that because my immune system, because it's universal, it can also attack my own body. And when that happens, we get autoimmunity. Okay? But fortunately, this is not happening because there is a mechanism of self non self discrimination that allows my body, my immune system, to tell the difference between things that are foreign to my body and things that make up my body. Okay? So my immune system will figure out or it had to figure out how to avoid attacking me and attack all things foreign to me and there will be a whole video on that we'll talk about all the different things the immune system has to do to be able to tell the difference between what is you and what isn't you one of the most beautiful things okay now the fifth property is called immune class regulation Probably the easiest way to explain what immune class regulation is, is by talking about allergies. Some people are allergic to peanuts. Some people, like me, are not allergic to peanuts. I'm one of the lucky ones who can eat peanuts. But guess what? I am definitely making an immune response to peanuts. Someone who's allergic to peanuts is also making an immune response to peanuts. But the class of the immune response I'm making to peanuts is different from the person who's allergic to peanuts. Besides allergies, this is definitely important when it comes to attacking bugs. Bugs come in different shapes and sizes. Some are viruses, some are bacteria, some are fungi and whatnot. Okay? Not the same immune response can be effective for each one. You, your immune system has to figure out what the best way is to attack each one of these types of bugs. Okay, so when your body becomes infected, 
your immune system has to think, okay, how am I going to make an immune response? What is the best way to attack this bug that can eliminate it quickly and not cause disease? Okay, so every time something foreign goes inside your body, your immune system is deciding how to respond to it, which is amazing. So now we talked about the five most important properties of the immune system. From now on, every time you see something about immunology, I want you to go back to these five properties and say, where does this fit within these five properties? Okay, in my future videos, I will elaborate on each one of these properties to kind of understand how your immune system can do what I just said it can do. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.